Hi, I'm Kai Hughes and I'm the Executive Director of the International Cotton Advisory Committee. To mark World Cotton Day, the ICAC has produced these series of videos to refute some of the many myths and misunderstandings about the cotton industry. The claim. Cotton cultivation drained the Aral Sea and destroyed the local ecosystem. The Aral Sea is located in Central Asia, between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. At one time, this was one of the largest lakes in the world, with a thriving fishing industry. But then, in the 1960s, the Soviet government diverted the two rivers that fed it to irrigate crops planted in the arid, dry land surrounding the sea. The enormous amount of water that was drained from those rivers turned this once flourishing fishing community into a desert wasteland. The United Nations has referred to this as one of the planet's worst environmental disasters and cotton has been blamed. The truth is that cotton was not the reason for this environmental disaster. The Soviet Union's poor irrigation methods meant that as much as 75% of the diverted water was soaked up by the desert sands and was wasted long before it reached any crops. Furthermore, cotton only accounted for about 41%, that's less than half of the land that was being irrigated, with grains, fruits and other crops accounting for the remaining area. And there's another important factor to consider. Cotton, despite its thirsty reputation, is a xerophyte. This means that it's a plant that thrives in dry and arid regions. In other words, cotton is grown in arid regions because unlike most other crops, it can be grown in arid regions. The regions are not arid because cotton is grown there. So, visit www.icac.org and click on the Global Cotton Promotions button to see more truths about cotton. Thanks for watching.